Before we begin this episode, I'd like to recognize the Harsh Rules Patreon supporters that help make content like this possible. If you'd like to support the channel, head over to patreon.com slash harsh rules to learn more. And once again, thank you for your support. Another way you can support the channel is by liking and subscribing. Liking a video helps me understand what content is successful with this audience. As for subscribing, new content appears on this channel first. While you may have found your way here from Board Game Geek or other sites, in the future I'll also be adding more exclusive content that may only be found here. The best way to be informed when I upload new videos is to subscribe and click the bell icon for notifications. Once again, thanks for watching, and now let's get to the video. Welcome back to Harsh Rules, this is Ben Harsh, and today we're going to take a look at the Martian models from Eris Games' Tripods and Triplanes. The first Martian tripod on display is the Mark I, also known as the Locust. This model is included in the Tripods and Triplanes core set. However, it can also be purchased on its own. This allows players to army build without having to buy the core set again. Now, one interesting aspect of the Locust design is that it has almost an Egyptian aesthetic to it. The jade panels on each side of the tripod's head resemble Egyptian feathered wings. This is also emphasized by the large round lens at the front of the body. The rest of the tripod is a combination of insect and steampunk influences, with chain-like mantis claws and rigid bolted joints in the legs. I also like the exposed silver engine block type design in the tripod's head. Overall, this is a pretty cool design to start the game with. The Mark II tripod is named after the scarab, the famous Egyptian beetle, and you can see the same Egyptian design motif and engineering of the locust here. However, with the scarab, everything is bigger and badder. That's because this tripod is the Martian's heavy unit. You can see the difference in the scarab's mantis-like front claws that are about the same size as the locust's legs. In fact, the scarab is so sturdy that the two rear hip joints are covered by huge armor plates. As for weaponry, the scarab has heat rays, multiple black smoke launchers, thicker armor, and energy shields, making it a formidable opponent for the nations of the Earth. While the first two tripods are bronzed insectile behemoths, the last two tripods take their influence from the sea. The Mark III tripod, the squid, is slung low to the ground on tentacle-like limbs. It has long feeler antennae sprouting from its head. Instead of a large single ruby lens, this tripod has several pale blue lamps not only on its head, but on the ends of its feeler tentacles as well. In the Martian army, this is their scout tripod that is dispatched to probe the land before a main assault. Finally, this is the Martian's ultimate weapon, the towering Mark IV Cuttlefish Tripod. This cephalopod-themed tripod has speed and maneuverability, as well as several long-range heat rays, multiple black smoke launchers, and protective energy shields. According to the game's lore, this tripod has yet to be defeated in battle. Therefore, it sounds like this is a good way to test the human player's skill, or as a fun machine to rampage with as the Martian player. Before we go, let's take a look at Jean Navarre's Newport 16. He was credited as the first French pilot to shoot down two enemy aircraft in a single day, and the first to be officially declared an ace. In this alternate timeline, however, he is faced with a greater challenge than fighting the Germans. Now he must prove himself against the Martian invaders. To aid him in these challenges, he's added rockets to his Newport 16. Despite this upgrade, though, ultimately it will be up to players to see if he is a success. I hope you've enjoyed this closer look at the models for Tripods and Triplanes by Eras Games. It's always nice to take a break and look at something cool. As always, I'm Ben Harsh for Harsh Rules. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video. If you found this video helpful, 
please give me a like and share with your friends. To be the first notified when the next episode of Harsh Rules becomes available, please hit the bell icon for notifications. And as always, this is Ben Harsh for Harsh Rules. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.